organization is called There's No Place Like Home, and we're going to highlight some of the travel buddy projects that we did this year, um, K through five, or no, K through four. We're also going to talk about our Kansas Wax Museum that we did. Okay, we decided this year to really focus on world travels and where in the world different things are. We're a very rural community. We have 1,600 people in our town. Um, it's an hour to the closest Walmart. So we kind of wanted to bring the world to our school so the kids knew that there was a lot of different stuff out there. Um, we integrated a school-wide travel buddy project, like I said. Some of the classrooms went a little bit further and did individual classroom travel buddies beyond the school ones. Um, there were a couple classrooms that did postcarding. Hey, we're in the world of Splat Stanley. <clears throat> My favorite project, the kids enjoy doing it. And last year when we went to Atlanta, I was thinking about, oh, I'll skip a year and not do it. Well, I met the designer of the program, so thanks to Carrie telling me that he was there. I went around and got his autograph, and we shared lots of Flat Stanley stories, and we had a great time. So, yes, we blew it up bigger than ever this year. We sent 15 Stanleys around the world, as close as Canada and Mexico, as far as away as Hawaii, Korea. Um, wow. Ireland, Germany, I, New Zealand, and we got all the two back home, and they bring it back a wealth of information, lots of goodies for the children. Comic books in Spanish, I do Spanish, but I'm not fluent enough to read them, and the kids enjoy it. So this is just a few of the kids, and we took a picture of their flat family, and the bulletin board that I do in my room, um, get onto the World Atlas, they find the flag of their country, that was that other bulletin board, and we put their pictures of their flat Stanley and their country, put the string out so you see how far they are from home. And the kids say, wow, that's really a long way. So we go on to the travel map to find out how many miles away the flat Stanleys are. And so we have a good time doing that. It's really neat when they come back because you can see the, how excited the kids are. And the packets are so thick. They get notebooks and like she said, comic books and letters. And I know they've sent candy. And it's, just, it's fascinating watching the kids get their flat stamp. This is our bulletin board that we had in the front office. And our new principal this year, he went with our theme, Oh, the Places We Will Go. And this was our theme all throughout the year. All the teachers have posted pictures of their travel buddies. Over here is like my flat Stanley, and oh, I also had sunflower Sam. It was a little brown uh, bear, a ham puppet that we put sunflowers on, and she went to uh, Korea. Right? Yeah, Korea. Korea. To Korea over there, and um, baby Jay's on here. He went all over. Our second grade project started out in Kansas, and it ended up in South America. He traveled all over the world. So that is in our front hallway. It's still there as a matter of fact. Our principal keeps talking about since we won the award uh, for the international travel thing. So we've got a spin off of it somewhere next year. But this way, all the little flat Stanleys are stuck on the map. Our flags were our um, armed forces guys that we correspond to. My class had two soldier buddies, our heroes as we call them, that we uh, talked to by the way of email.